After understanding and knowing about different physical quantities starting from distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, average speed, average velocity, now it is the time to solve advanced level numericals like you know speed, distance travel, but you want to find what is the time taken. You know time taken, speed, initial speed and final speed. You want to find what is the distance travel. Or maybe you have dropped a ball from a tower and you want to know what is the speed of the ball when it hits the ground. So this type of questions if you want to solve, you need to know equations of motion. These equations are also called kinematic equations. Kinematic equations or equations of motion. And we have importantly three equations. And you need to remember those three equations. Number one, V equals to U plus AT. All symbols meaning you know V is final velocity, U is initial velocity, A is acceleration, T is the time taken. Now second one. S equal to ut plus half a t square. S is the distance traveled. Now third one, v square minus u square equal to 2 a s. Now register, register the three formulas in your mind. You need to remember these equations. But here, I am going to derive these equations graphically using vt graph. If you see this VT graph, a, a straight line is drawn. The straight line tells that the body has some initial velocity u. If the graph line starts from here, then I can say body starts from rest because v equal to 0. But here v is u. So the body has initial velocity u and reach it to final velocity v in time t. So in this situation, we need to derive these equations. So let me derive the first equation v equal to u plus a t which is called speed time relation or you can say velocity time relation also. Okay. Now see this graph and I will do a little improvement in this graph. Say this is a A, symbol is A. Now drawing a line here, say this is a, uh, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E. These are the labels I have kept. The original graph is AD only. All the remaining or dotted lines are imaginary lines, which are helping for us to solve those equations. Now, this is the line DB, DB dc when the graph moves from a to d take the line dc dc so how do you find this dc you can find dc by writing db minus say db minus cb see carefully so from the graph, I have taken a line DC and to find DC, what I have done, I have taken total line DB and subtracted CB. So that I get DC, correct. Now what is DC here? To find DC, write the DB value. What is DB? See here, DB, 0 to V, that means V velocity, the final velocity V minus CB. CB, 0 to U, so difference is U, the initial velocity U. So DC is V minus U. Now take AC, I want AC value, AC is nothing but T, obviously from the graph AC, AC, C, AC is nothing but OB, the OB the time taken is T. VT graph, earlier I have taught you that. To find acceleration, slope of VT graph we need to use. So, 
acceleration a equals to slope of vt graph now slope in this diagram the slope formula i have told you that y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 you can take see this is y2 this is y1 y2 y1 so if you say like that this y2 y1 the difference is y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 is nothing but dc so acceleration a is dc by x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 the x2 minus x nothing but ob or i can say ac and the ac is t i'm writing ac here so dc is v minus u divided by ac is t so what we got a equals to v minus u by t now do the cross multiplication you know what you're getting a into t equal to v minus u take u to the left hand side so at last you got a t plus u equal to v implies v equals to u plus a t so this is what called velocity time or speed time relation now we need to derive the second one it is called position time relation take the same graph here if you want to find distance yes distance travel i told earlier to you that uh, you need to use area of the vt graph so area of the graph here the graph starts from here and ends here the area of the graph is whole the thing a o b c d that's the entire area so s yes equals to area of o a sorry area of a o b c d that's the entire area o a o b c d equals to to find it a big shape area what we do we do a little simplification the simplification is that see that the graph once again the graph divided into two parts rectangle and triangle so i can say area of rectangle o a c b plus area of triangle a d c now the rectangle o a c b the value is oa into ob the formula length into breadth plus triangle half into base into height the base is ac height of triangle is dc good now what is oa now see the graph carefully oa is u u into what is ob ob is nothing but t t u into t plus half into what is ac 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 is nothing but ob again t t into what is dc dc is nothing but v u difference so it is v minus u so v minus u so ut i can write ut plus half into t into v minus u okay but this is not our formula some changes happening here if you see the previous uh, expression v equal to u plus at if you reframe it you will get to know that from this first equation from this first equation v minus u is nothing but a into t as you see take u to the left hand side v minus u equal to at so substitute this at here so ut plus half into t into instead of v minus u i'm writing at so at last i got ut plus half a t square this is what uh, the distance formula which is also called position time relationship now we are going to derive the third equation which is also called position velocity relation now see the graph again again we depend upon the distance 
from this graph, which is the area of VT graph. So S equals to area of VT graph. Now it is nothing but uh, area of uh, A, O, B, C, D. Now same shape I am taking like earlier, but this time the, I'm, I'm not taking the shape as a sum of rectangle and triangle. I'm say I'm seeing the shape as trapezium. It's a trapezium shape. When you take trapezium shape, trapezium formula is sum of the opposite sides into height divided by two. Sum of the opposite side means see this is one side OA, other side is DB opposite sides, and the height is this one AC. So sum of the opposite sides OA plus BD sum into the height AC whole divided by 2. This is the trapezium formula equals to what is OA as I have substituted in earlier case OA is nothing but U plus BD is nothing but V AC is T by 2. Have we got the formula? No. Yet we need to solve. Now see from this equation 1 again what is T value or T formula? Take U to the other side so V minus U and A comes to denominator. So T is V minus U by A. So here in the next step instead of uh, T you write V minus U by A. Now see here it is U plus V or else I can change, uh, change it as V plus U both are same. So V plus U into V minus U just think about mathematics A plus B into A minus B is nothing but A square minus B square. So V square minus U square by 2A which is equal to S. So implies 2AS equals to V square minus U square. So this is the equation what we wanted to derive and this is what called position velocity relationship. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.